now I will be discussing about movement disorders. Uh, the first question will be what all does the basal ganglion include? New striatum, value striatum, subthalamic nucleus, substantian igra, pedicleum pontine nucleus, all of the above. Which is the right answer now? Anyone of you all know? He is right, all of the above. It is the new striatum, value striatum, the new striatum being the caudate nucleus and the putamen, the pallus stridum will be the globus pallidus and the substantial subthalamic nucleus, substantial nigra and pedunculopontine nucleus are all important for maintaining that is for beginning a movement, maintaining and carrying out the movement. Okay. Next, uh, what is true about medium spiny neurons which are present the striatum? Those with uh, D1 receptors contain GABA, substance P, dynorphin, those with D2 receptors contain GABA and encephalin, those with D1 receptors projects to GPI and GPE, those with G, uh, D2 receptors project to GPE, those with D1 receptors project to GPI. What is the answer? Uh, those with D1, uh, G1 uh, receptors, they contain GABA, substance P, dynorphin, and they project to GPI, they do not project to GPE. That is globus pallidus interna, GPI is globus pallidus interna and GP is globus pallidus externa. And D2 receptors, what? Uh, D2 receptors, they contain GABA and encephalin and they project to GPE. What is zona inserta? It is a reticular nucleus ventral to the thalamus, reticular nucleus dorsal to the thalamus, receives input from GPI, substantia nigra, ascending reticular activating system, cerebellum, and motor cortex. What is the answer now? It is 1 and 3. It is reticular nucleus ventral to the thalamus and it receives input from GPI, substantia nuclear uh, reticulata, then uh, ARS, cerebellum, and motor cortex. What is PPN? PPN is pedunculopontine nucleus. It is composed of cholinergic and non cholinergic neurons and they are located in the caudal pontomesencephalic tegmentum. They play a role in the production and control of movement. It has been split into two parts, the pass compactor and the pass dissipators, all of the above. Which is the right answer? It is all of the above. We actually uh, wanted to be more informative, so I made it all of the above rather than putting except and all that. Movement disorders arising from segmental dysfunction include tetanus, stiff person syndrome, hereditary hypercaplexia, all of the above, none of the above. It is all of the above. What is segmental disorder? That is uh, any motor control you have got a segmental control and a supra segmental control, I will be telling it later. What is the firing rate of globus pallidus interna? 60 to 90, 30 to 40 hertz, 10 to 20 hertz, 0 0.5 to 2 hertz. It is, it has got a high firing rate, so the firing rate is 60 to 90 hertz. And see this is the intrasegmental output. So, any motor system to be carried out, it has got the anterior horn cell with the intrasegmental input connections and a suprasegmental control. So, the intrasegmental control is it is affected which contains the muscle spindle, the 1A afferent, the 1B afferents, the alpha motor neuron and the wrench.